We do it in the way Magna does. The very last three games, last Wagonin and Dun Zubal. Uh, like I say, there's a lot of my friends out there. It's a good day here today. Really a good day to say Chimi Gwich to all the head carriers. You know, that's something that I said many times years ago, we wish we, we need these to happen. Now we need our spiritual leaders to be part of this. You know, that Pogan, I'm, I'm told when we have a gathering of, of Shinabe people, I'm told I have to say something about my Pogan. Sanogichi da Pogan. Gani Gabu. There's Mr. Slender here. Young, a young, good looking guy. Talked about Gani Gabu. It was back in a, during the, really the tough times as, as people talked about over in uh, Waswaganin when uh, a bunch of uh, Neil's relatives ran all the way from Pipestone. And they were running for us. Giving us strength to continue the endeavor that we've uh, we've uh, taken on. I seen the Tribble boys here. <coughs> Tribble men, you might as well say. They ain't boys anymore. And I want to say Chimi Gwich opportunity uh, to say Chimi Gwich to them because you know they took that effort also as Ogichi does, as warriors, to take on, you know, with their tribal government and their leadership and, and whatever it took in order to bring, you know, forth this. Great Lakes Fish and Wildlife Commission came later, like to say, you know, Chimi Gwich to all those people. I see Donald in there. You know, Donald sat for his people from Mille Lacs. You know, a long time with the Great Lakes Fish and Wildlife Commission, the task force, and uh, and he represented his tribe well, like people are representing their tribes well today. We have a young group that's sort of uh, running our organizations today. I want to say Chimi Gwich to the Schlender family. You know, uh, I didn't I didn't know these guys other than through uh, Jim. When they were growing up, they're young, good-looking guys. Can't gotta keep saying that, huh? Hey, Jimmy. Another guy back me back there. What I want to say, Chimi Gwich to uh, uh, Mo Lake and their drum brother, Mr. Ackley here. It took a lot of I'm trying to figure out a word to use. It's really simple for everybody. Uh, a lot of uh, endurance, I guess. You can say that. To accomplish the things that needed to be accomplished in order to take on the Holocaust of Indian people yet today. You know, in those lodges, those sweat lodges, in those, in those uh, roundhouses, in my time, all those uh, spiritual leaders told us that we have to tell our Anishinaabe people, <clears throat> it's time now that you stand up and you do it. You use, and I want to be disrespectful to our non-Indian uh, people that stand with us, but you use those people, their knowledge, you gain from them what you need for tomorrow. And that's important, because yet today, we still lack a lot of, of our young people that are, are going back and forth. You see your different communities, there's different things happening in the different communities, but yet, we've got a lot of the older people sitting here, sitting around here. When we're fighting this case, Catherine Turney, Jim, her husband, I happened to be a tribal judge at that time, sitting over in uh, Madison, and I was listening to uh, how they were going to argue their case, depositions, and I sat and I 
sort of was a long day, a hot day. And I sat in that room and I was sort of like falling asleep. But yet listening to those attorneys, how, how they were, how uh, uh, a guy that read history, how he was telling that story about those chiefs and about those Ogichidas and those, those young people that were, were making sure that this treaty right was going to last forever and ever and ever. And you could almost have that dream. You could almost see those people at that time, just like it was talked about here. You know, this happened way back. And it's really great to be a party to this here. And uh, in the next couple of days, I'm hoping that everybody will really take a little bit of time, sit down at those panels, because there's a lot of stories that have to be told to the people that were not at the boat landings, did not participate, or was just in general watching it on television or listening to it on the radio. But like I said, we've come a long ways, not only as Indian people, but as to exercise this treaty right, which was preserved for us as Indian people, and not to be scared to say that in that good way. You've heard a lot of other tribal leaders stand up here and talk that Ojibwe Moen. We need to bring all that stuff back. It was good to see that water ceremony. And I only know a little bit about that. And I made efforts during my time. I was trying to lead my people back home in their endeavor to stay strong. It wasn't easy because tribal government at that time, you know, weakened and went to their knees, especially Waswaganin, wanted to sell our treaty rights. I know Mo Lake was part of part of that, or they wanted a few people wanted to do that too. But we said Gawin. It's not for sale. And it's still not for sale. And we gotta continue to do that for the generations to come. So I'm hoping that everybody will uh, enjoy the next couple of days. I want to say miigwech to uh, Jim Zorn, his staff, because, like I say, we've come a long ways with professional people, but yet we still, let's not forget about the people that made it happen today. And it's, uh, some of them have walked on, some of them are part of this organization. You look around and take a look at each other, I see uh, Phantom back there, I remember when he didn't have any gray hair. And Donald, my friend Don, he never had any, I remember that myself. Or some of these are young guys here. You know, Neil well, used to run like an antelope, I don't know what he's doing now. But uh, still doing a good job. Chip was, I haven't got him yet. So, miigwech, we'll see you guys next couple of days. Miigwech.